Don't tell your mother, kiss one another, die for each other. We're cold for the summer. So, what's up, guys? So, this past week, and well, most no, more directly, on Monday, there was a protest out in front of the Rowan County uh, County Clerk's Office. Now, without getting too much involved and bringing any more attention than this has to on this vile person, it, the reason why I bring this up is because it concerns another group of people that I typically find myself at war with, and that would be, most notably, the Westboro Fascist Church. However, in this video, and one you'll notice I'm not wearing my typical fatigues for this video, and for the purpose, I'm going to actually let this one go by the wayside this time. Because as much as it pains me, as much as it makes me sick to my stomach and gives me that vile feeling of vomit in the back of my throat, Westboro Baptist Church was picketing in front of Rowan County the Rowan County Clerk's Office because they believe that Kim Davis is a hypocrite and a fake Christian. And, again, as hard as this is to admit, I have to fucking agree with them. Anyway. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, they protested out in front of her uh, in front of her county office calling her out for, well, basically for what she is. Now, granted, Westboro Baptist, this is Westboro Baptist cult. So, of course, you know, they they have their own agenda, much like, you know, people that, you know, are hopping, you know, people that are, that are pro-gun that are conservative, you know, and people that are socialist who are pro obviously pro-gun, you know, both are pro-gun for... You know, are both pro-gun, but they're pro-gun for different reasons. They have their own agendas. And it's pretty much the same thing for in this case when it comes down to Westboro Baptist Church against Kim Davis. Because, let's be honest, does Westboro Baptist Church really give a flying fuck about gay people? Hell no. Because the Westboro Baptist Church has been friggin' going after gay people for the last friggin' you know, Pretty much since their inception, since 1955, they've been staunchly anti-gay. They've been staunchly homophobic, and granted, they're getting more David Koresh-like when it comes down to their views and the way that they operate things. They don't give a damn about gay people. They're not doing this for gay people. They are trying, you know, I do kind of find some irony in what they're doing because it's trying they're not out here you know they're not out there with some you know you know all this sort of crap trying to claim that they're you know that they're supporting gay marriage or that whether they're or even out there with signs saying you know god hates you know this you know it's they're not doing that they're actually playing this off fairly well because Americans are short-minded, and Westboro, dumb as they are, still clearly know this, and they know that they can actually use this to their advantage to kind of somehow kind of make them seem like they're not as bad as people think they are. So they're playing that off pretty damn well, because they're focusing this issue on adultery. They're f focusing this issue on their um, attack on Kim Davis. So they're playing this, you know, you know, we're here to fight back against this and that and blah, blah, blah. But they're really doing this for their own selfish benefits. It's obvious that that's what they're doing. They're supporting, uh, they're, they're, they're not supporting really anybody. They're only here to basically get the point across that because she's been married uh, four times and she also, and again, I will agree with, I have to agree with them, on the issue of adultery because she basically was married to her first husband and had a child with her sec with her uh, third husband while she was still married to her first husband 
then got married to somebody else, and then, but yet, ended up marrying the third person, and then I believe it was with, I think it was her second or her third marriage, in which she ended up getting remarried again. Um, now, of course, you know, critics of Davis have been out there quite a bit, and one of the th claims that she, you know, makes that, you know, says that she's not a hypocrite, that she's not a fake Christian, is that all of this happened b before I became born again. That doesn't matter. That's actually a very, you know, sham argument to make. It's, you know, it's... If anything, I would actually say it's nothing more than a red herring because this is just because it, that's just something you're using to distract away from the idea that you that you literally um, that you know you've literally made these you know judgments and stuff like that. It's it's clearly one of those things where you made your bed, you have to sleep in it. Doesn't matter whether you took on a religion or not. Your very actions, your very actions that you've taken in life, have made you hypocritical. In fact, if in fact, if anything, your religion has actually made you more hypocritical. So, in that saying, it that you really don't have much of a leg to stand on. You're really just looking for any little, you know, foothold or hand hold, whatever to, you know, to grab onto. Because you really don't have, it, because you're literally falling down this cliff. And then, of course, Westboro Baptist Church comes in and they start basically pointing out that you are indeed, you know, a fake Christian, that you are a hypocrite, that you are an adulterer. And I'm not by any means supporting Westboro Baptist Church because obviously I still. Because I personally am to the belief they're doing this all for their own selfish benefits. And that's a pretty reasonable common sense critique. So, I really can't say much more other than that. Because that's really all this is. Uh, because, frankly, Davis is not... You know, Davis is well deserving of this criticism that she's getting. She's well deserving of the picketers that she's getting. And frankly, I think Westboro Baptist Church in this case, I think are well within their means to actually go out and do what they're doing. This is actually the first time I actually, probably the first and one of rare times I will actually agree on certain issue on a certain issue and actually condone the protests going on by that church even though personally I think that church you know is utterly fascist and a cult and frankly serves no actual purpose and to be honest I think that they're being rather hypocritical themselves I personally believe that the Westboro fascist cult is they really you know go out screaming fake Christian and adulterer and you know there's a few things about certain members of that church and you know, particularly Shirley Phelps Roper, that, you know, I have criticisms about, but I'm not going to, but it has very little relevance in this particular case, as well as the fact that Westboro fascist cult is, you know, goes out there bitching about fake Christianity when they themselves don't actually understand what the Bible actually means, or even realizes that, that, you know, Jesus, that the teachings of Jesus Christ are really nothing of what they believe in. And so really, it's kind of hypocritical that they're calling someone a fake Christian when they themselves don't have a fucking clue either. So, it's just really kind of one of those things where you're just kind of eating popcorn while, <laughs> while just watching the, the, you know, two fundamentalist sides of the right wing just bashing each other over uh, their disagreements. Um, and the fact that they call her a hypocrite when they themselves are oh so very hypocritical. But in this case, I have to side with the Westboro Baptist Church. It's one of those things where you pick, where in the case of my enemy, it of my enemy 
it's kind of one of those contradictions, and this is a contradiction, not a, you know, I talk about contradictions of capitalism, and I've also talked, you know, on occasion about the contradictions of Christianity, the contradictions of religion in general. And this is definitely one of those examples of contradiction of Christianity. In this case, it's a contradiction of right-wing Christianity in which the two, you know, in which the two powers at play here, one, you know, has a certain religious conviction, while and the other has another religious conviction, and these, you know, and while they have similar views, especially when it comes to gay marriage, they're obviously, um, you know, they have disagreements on why on why they, uh, you know, they have a disagreement on, on the morality of their disagreement, their, their, op, the, on the morality on their opposition to, you know, to it, because, you know, Westboro views, you know, views Kim Davis as kind of this person that should not even, that, that should not even be representing their side, I guess their particular side of the spectrum. So, yeah, this is a contradiction of right-wing uh, fundamentalism and so I think it's really hilarious how all this is played out but in this case as a Marxist you always basically pick the side that is going to be um, that, that, that is definitely well basically suits more more of that is more towards skewed towards your viewpoint and your um, yeah towards your particular goal, goal objectives and everything and while neither one is anywhere near my goal objectives or my personal beliefs or even ideology they in this case it's definitely that comes right on down to um, pretty much siding with one side to you know defeat one purpose and then go back to fighting the other side it's kind of a, basically an enemy of my enemy is my friend situation. Personally, here at the end of the day, yes, my enemy uh, of my the enemy of my enemy is my friend. But once this is all over, once Westboro Baptist Church goes home, it basically goes right back to that very situation, and it doesn't matter who who's fighting who. The enemy of my enemy is still going to be my enemy. Anyway, so I just kind of figured that I should do this video because I've done so many videos on Westboro Baptist Church in the past. I've done videos on Kim Davis. And I just kind of feel that while I would much rather just have this die, just, you know, erode away and die and fade off into oblivion as much as I would, I hate to I don't want to try to bring any more attention to Kim Davis as I have to. I felt that it would be unbefitting of me, not necessarily hypocritical, but unbefitting of me, to not address this particular entertainment <laughs> to my audience, because my audience has come to rely on me, well not even rely on me, but they've come to expect me to talk about controversial issues, to talk about issues that aren't always widely talked about in the media, and talk about things that, you know, that are of some level of importance, and definitely in this case, you know, where would I, you know, where do I stand on Kim Davis and the Westboro Baptist Church issue? You know, I, I, I kind of figured that people would be asking me that if I didn't make a video, or wondering what, and why didn't you do a video on on that, why didn't you talk about the Westboro Baptist Church picketing Kim Davis? You know, you it's like what side, whose side are you on on that, and blah blah blah. And it's like, or, you know, what's your opinion? And I feel that if I didn't do that, that there would be questions. And not only that, my credibility when it comes to my audience and the people that do come across these videos has come to exp the people that that do watch these come to expect me to talk about this. So, and if I don't do that, then, you know, it just kind of, you know, it, it just kind of leaves things open to speculation. So, I, I'm not really doing it to please anybody, because I'm tired of doing that. 
but I am just quite frankly putting it out there that yeah I don't yeah you know, that I, I'm I'm not a person that's a hypocrite I'm not a person that just ignores things and there are times that I do ignore things because I just don't have the time to put into it for it but for this one I figured I had a few minutes I wanted to sit down talk about that give my personal opinions on it and this is basically where I am so it's not so much as picking a side it's just the fact that I think it's entertaining and I think everybody else will find my find it entertaining and will find my 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 spiel on this to be somewhat satisfactory for them so yeah I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Later, y'all.